Hey, what is up guys? Prime Scholar is here. Back for my top three favorite pick character type thing Bobo. But today we are in the fourth game. We are in Trap Team. Um, this game had one of the, I think, the most amount of characters out of any Scholar's game. Inclu and then even with the traps adding on to it. So, I couldn't just pick three. I really tried. I minimized it to five. And then I also did, since this was Trap Team, um, the extra stuff, I did my top three favorite traps. So let's go ahead and get right on into this video. Let's go ahead and see who my number five pick is. Starting with number five, it's the none, then other Fist Bump. Fist Bump is an amazing rock panda. And then when you fully upgraded him, when you just get to slowly just start walking, you make cracks in the ground, and then you just punching will make um, the spikes shoot out, then you have the little balls or whatever, um, and then even shot uh, rocks out and stuff. A bunch of things came out when you were hitting the ground, plus the spikes. When you go down that, I think it was the top path, I think that's what it was, but when it mainly focuses on the gr you know smashing the ground and all that stuff, it's really cool. Fist Pump is definitely a solid character. I would really hope to see another version of this guy. Coming in for number four is Chopper. I just want to quickly say, guys, I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video. Um, I want you guys down below to post y'all's top three favorite or top five favorite in this instant traps and characters. Um, back to the video. Um, number four is Chopper. Um, if you guys have recently been in the Skylanders news, there was that fake Series 2 Chopper that got a lot of our hopes up. But thanks to uh, Ro y Rock, he actually showed us how it could be fake and... Yeah, how to make it fake and all that other stuff, but really sad. It could be another Series 2 Chopper, but um, that was just a prototype that we saw. But Chopper's a really solid character, really funny. Um, I think they really put a lot of good thoughts into him, and um, I'm really happy that they came with, out with him because I heard there was something, he was going to be like a giant or something, which sounded really cool, a giant Tyrannosaurus. But instead, we got this cool little guy about three short, uh, three years late, later. Sorry, yeah, it's about my English. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move on to my number three pick. Coming into number three is uh, Flipwreck. Now, this is a really good character. I remember when I saw the previews for him, High Five, and Bat Spin. He was my second most anticipated character. The thing is, which was really interesting when they showed us, um, everybody was voting for High Five. They are like, oh, he looks the coolest. He's got to be the best. He's got the coolest name, High Five. Turns out... He was actually, out of all three, he was my least favorite. Um, Flipwreck, who I thought would be a decent character, not the best, turned out to be the favorite, and he actually made it to number three spot today. Um, Batspin actually was uh, brought better expectations than High Five. High Five is not a bad character, but I was really expecting more. And um, either way, though, Flipwreck definitely delivered what I was wanting from High Five, but instead he did it with that awesome wheel attack. I never expected that, that he'd be flying on his wheel and all that cool stuff. Uh, that was a really cool character, and I can honestly see a Series 2 version of him, or whatever they do, with him riding his wheel as a really cool new pose. Coming into number two, we have Shortcut. If you guys all know, I'm a huge Undead fan, and then when I got to finally see him, oh my gosh, he was just amazing. He looked iconical, he's really funny, got really cool, I guess kind of like voodoo-ish vibe, like he's not voodoo, the character, um, voodoo, you know, the type thing with the dolls, and then, uh, whenever they have all the dolls and creepy dolls and all that stuff, oh my gosh, and then when he walks on his scissors, that's a really cool attack. And then he goes into major, like, chopping mode. He was a really good character. Um, and I feel like he's going to be the only character um, to ever have scissors. So I feel like he's going to be a one-time unique character type thing. He's even got, you know, the one small eye compared to the other. Um, and then if you guys actually have the figure, the feel of his hat is really cool. I really feel like they had to put a lot of detail into making him. Now let's go ahead and jump in to my number one pick. Skylanders Trap Team. Did y'all happen to guess it right? It is Enigma. Congratulations if you did. Enigma is one of the top characters I've ever played with. Now, I did so much with him. He was, I think, my first level 20 trap master, I'm pretty sure. Um, he, I used for nearly every, for speed challenges and, oh, and like, uh, power challenges. Uh, what I mean by that is, if you guys remember, Su uh, Supercharger Sally didn't have this, you know, like, missions and quests kind of type thing. Well, they had kind of quests, but I love the, when you did the star missions, and, you know, there was objectives. They took all that out, which I hope they've been back in Skylar 6. But the speed challenges, I would use him, and he would easily knock them out. His weapons, his, he was super overpowered for me. I, I feel like he was a really powerful character. And then, uh, especially when you did, like, the eye laser beam, or where you did it where the all the eyes would fall from the sky. Really cool. 
and he's got one of the best poses out of any Skylanders game. Which, if you guys do have him, he's got, he's like turning him, like when he goes invisible in the game, he's going invisible in the toy form. So, um, about, I thought, I, ha I got him early, um, quick story about that, like, and I had him really early and I checked YouTube, and I saw barely anybody with him, and I really wanted to record, and I actually recorded me unboxing him, but it wasn't good quality, so I never uploaded it. But I remember, I got him like two days before they opened, kind of went to GameStop, and was like, do you have him? He was like behind the counter in a box still, and I went ahead and picked him up. So, okay, if you guys are still around, here we go. This time, we are doing my top three favorite traps. Since this is trap team, and for superchargers, we're going to do my top three favorite characters and top three favorite vehicles. Because um, the gimmicks, I'm doing the gimmicks with it. And my third favorite is the snake trap. Not just because it's undead. I just chose the undead one because that was a really cool one. But I feel like the snake one was a really cool scope. I really like animals, and I feel like it was a really cool menacing looking one. And for certain... Uh, Villains, especially the undead ones, the snake would look really good as you kind of think of the representation of the character. So I feel like this was a really solid trap, and um, I don't personally have the snake one, but it is a really cool trap. And maybe, hopefully, um, I might be able to find it, um, like, really cheap one day, because um, it's old now, since we're about to be getting into, like, the six games, so it's, like, two games or something like that old. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to my second favorite trap. Moving on to my second one, I got the one and only spider trap for the dark element. This is obviously one of my second, this is a one of a kind trap you're not going to get for any other element but the dark. So I felt like this was a really unique one. Um, I really liked the look of it. And then when I feel, um, who was it? Uh, I'm trying to think about that. Nightshade was alright having him. I forgot who it was. I was thinking about some of the dark characters, I don't remember. Um, but this does represent, like, when you're thinking about dark character, dark villains, this really gives you a good representation of what you think, if they were trapped in a crystal, what they would be stuck in. Taking our number one spot is the Chaos Trap. This was the very first time we ever got to play as Chaos. It was a very awesome sculpt, and then, so every time I grab that trap, I know I'm playing with the most e evil character that there is in the game. And the fact of having it, and then you get to see the face sculpted, like in Superchargers, the trophy. It's a really cool thing just to have, because unless they give us a Chaos figure to hold, this is the closest thing we're going to have, unless you got the Happy Meal Chaos toy from a couple of years back. Other than that, this is all we have, plus the trophy. So, the fact of actually getting to have this, I remember buying it, really cool experience, and then getting to play as Chaos is a really amazing thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, if you guys take the whole video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will subscribe and stay uh, up to date with more videos. Love a new addition to this channel. And I hope you guys will stay up to date with the new Skylander videos I'm producing out. And the soon reveal of Skylander 6. Because it is coming really soon. I don't know when soon is. But it's really soon. I don't know. It's close. Don't you guys worry. It's close. And it's going to be an amazing game. I can assure you of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Prime Skylanders. I'll see you guys back in another video.